in a while and I just want to apologize to you guys about that um, a lot of things have been going on where I live just with like the weather and like not being able to do things and then also not being motivated enough so I do apologize but I am getting back on my YouTube grind taking it seriously so get ready for some videos and for today's video if you couldn't already tell by the title this is going to be a series a new series that i'm going to be doing it's not going to be like monthly um i would say it's going to be like every three months or so um i'm going to be doing this series so you guys will be seeing a lot of these types of videos i uh, hope you like them this is kind of something new i wanted to do with my channel what about for a really long time when i wasn't posting and um i think it's going to do really well so i hope you guys enjoy and we're going to get right into today's video so today's video we are doing a beauty series by britney and this is episode number one so welcome to today's beauty series i'm just going to be going over some must haves that you should always have so i'm going to go out of order i'm not really going to go in like order like skincare beauty um but yeah also i'm going to list all of the products down below in the description box as well as the prices because i know some of us are on a budget and you know everybody can't have everything so i have a variety of high-end to drugstore so the first thing i want to talk about is this different gel this is the small one but um if you guys can see that it is different gel just approved um it used to be that you couldn't get this over the counter you had to get like a prescription now you can get it at um target i believe cvs carries it target carries it and i don't know where else because i don't really shop anywhere else besides target but i'm sure maybe like walmart or other stores like that maybe even fred meyers might carry it but this shit is life i'm telling you guys you need to pick one up if you are lucky and you never get acne not even like one pimple on your face somebody like me who gets maybe a bump every so often um this shit is life you literally put it on overnight and your shit is gone by the next day i swear i've been using this stuff for almost a year now um and it's really helped with clearing up my dark spots too which is actually amazing because the one thing about my skin is i'm actually really lucky and i don't really get acne and if i do it's like like i said like one you know pimple here and there on my cheek or on my forehead um but i'm really lucky and i don't get acne like ever but when I do, the bad thing is my skin scars and like who wants a fucking scar on their face? Like not me. So this shit works miracles on dark spots and just like helping like even out that skin tone underneath where that pimple was. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I believe this little bottle is like 12 to 15 and then the bigger one, which is what I usually have, I just ran out is about 30 so it's really not that badly priced because you can get the small one and this little one lasts you only using like a small little dog i highly recommend that um another skincare product that i want to talk about is the neutrogena um light therapy hand wand so it is the red light blue light um light therapy hand wand that you literally can like put on any spot on your face or just like any dark spot any like kind of wrinkle anything you want to do you just press that button you let it light up and i think it stays lit for like two minutes and then it shuts off by itself or you can press it like me and shut it off this is so good for on the go um it has a certain amount of uses to it so all of them have 
I don't remember how many times you can use it, but obviously when it doesn't light up anymore, you obviously need to throw it away and buy a new one. But I've had this for a minute now because I don't always use this because Neutrogena also has the face mask, um, this, but all over your face. So you have red and blue light, infrared all over your face, which helps with reducing fine lines and wrinkles and dark spots and just really keeping your skin youthful and healthy. I would recommend getting that as well. Literally my go-to. I freaking love this. And honestly, I keep this in my bag because you never know. So while we're on skincare, I'm just gonna bang through skincare real quick. Um, I'm obsessed with these. I've known about this brand before. Um, they are a little bit pricey, but the reason why they're so pricey is because they actually work and they're really good. Um, it is Tatcha and this dewy, luminous dewy skin mask is fucking everything. I literally got two of these in my January 2019 BoxyCharm box, so last month's box. I've only used one. I'm obsessed, so I'm keeping this one for safekeeping until I want to go buy some more because these are literally like a $30 mask. And I'm so grateful that I got two of them in my boxy charm last month and was able to actually try it out for myself. When they say that this literally leaves your skin luminous and dewy for like a week after, it is not a joke. I am freaking in love with Tatcha and I actually want to get some of their skincare products really soon. So maybe in a couple of months on my next series, you guys will see me talking about their, um, I believe it's the moisturizer that's supposed to help with like fine lines and like dark spots. So, Tatcha. And then lastly for skincare, and this I know has been, it's been, I mean, around for a long time. I just recently jumped onto this bandwagon. I want to say six months ago, right? Yeah, about six months ago, almost seven months now. Um, and dermaplaning your face. And so I use these ones, um, these, they're brow trimmers, but they're really not. Like, they're like the derma things that you use, just not super fancy or super expensive. I get these from Ulta, and it's literally a pack of three for like five dollars, and they work so well. Um, Derma planing your face is literally one of the best things you can do for your skin, especially on your face. Um, it literally, I mean, you guys can go and look it up and look more in depth into actually like all the benefits that it provides for your face and everything because it provides so much shit. It's like amazing. I don't even know why I didn't start doing this a long time ago, but it's okay. Um, but it literally is so beneficial for you. Um, it helps not only with evening out your skin tone on your face, because let's face it, everybody's skin tone is uneven. Your face and your body know the drill. You know the drill. So, um, it evens out your skin tone. It gets rid of dark spots. It takes away wrinkles and, like, indents that are in your face. Like, and then let me just tell you, after you dermaplane your face, because you don't want to do it um, more than like twice a month, if that, um, I only do it once a month and I find better results that way, but if you have more skin, or I mean more hair, whatever, then you do you, but you shouldn't do more than two times a month and you need to spread it out because you are essentially kind of like ripping open your skin. And I know that sounds like really stupid, but it's not like in that way. It's like you are opening your skin and like removing dead things and like old skin and surfaces and things like that and all the hair on your face um, and peach fuzz. So when you do that it leaves such a smooth baby soft surface that when you apply your foundation oh my god it's like flawless like i don't know if you guys can tell but my foundation is like so flawless every time i put it on my face it is insane like i'm so obsessed with dermaplaning my face i think i'll forever do it for easy to do if you guys want to see a tutorial on how i dermaplane my face and like the steps that i use and the moisturizers and the oils that i use after um leave a comment down below and i'm happy to film that for you but you should definitely look into dermaplaning your face because it is very beneficial and it just like changes your foundation application 
I mean, you just gotta try it to see. But that's everything for skincare, um, at least for these past couple of months that I've really been into and like loving. Obviously, moisturizing your face is key. Doing masks every once in a while is key. Um, staying out of the sun, using a lot of sunscreen, um, just washing your face on a daily. And what I used to wash my face is I used the Vanity Planet Spin Brush. That literally is life changing. Spin Brush, it literally has changed my life from washing my face from like a year ago to now. It literally takes off all the impurities, all the extra stuff that you think that you got off when you washed your face, but you really didn't. And it literally helps blood circulation and it helps produce good collagen back into your face and it just helps make you youthful and get rid of dark spots and fine lines. It is an amazing, amazing tool and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is um, these Ardell Double Up Not Free Single Lashes. Um, they are like medium and large, like medium long size. I am obsessed with these and I actually just bought the Christina ones online so I can't wait for those to come in the mail. Um, the reason why I get not free is because I don't know if you guys can tell but I own um, eyelash extensions so I'd rather do it myself um, and spend less money and then just wait for a special occasion like my birthday and professionally done. So that's what I've been doing and um, I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see. I don't know if you can tell but like I think they look really good. Like you can't even fucking tell. You know what I mean? Like it looks like I got them done professionally and if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on my at home um, eyelash extensions let me know in the comment section down below because I will film that for you guys tell you you know what um, eyelash extensions and glue I use and the process and how long they last and things like that um, so leave a comment down below and I will definitely make time to film that for you guys because it's um, Honestly, it will probably save you money if you guys are looking into eyelash extensions and it will also help you decide if you really want eyelash extensions because when you get the, my way permanent, when you get eyelash extensions done professionally, they're permanent, you know, for a good, you know, however, you know, I, I mean, mine lasted like a good two months, but you know, however long they last for you guys, whatever, you know what I mean? Like mine are semi, they're not going to last you that long, but long enough to where you can wake up and you have gorgeous lashes and you don't need to add that into your makeup routine so if your girl comments um speaking on eyes so i do use this kiss um strip lash adhesive with aloe in black wear by this fucking glue and I know everybody is obsessed with duo don't get me wrong I have a duo in my makeup box and in my car so I'm on the duo bandwagon too but this shit is life changing if you guys literally have never heard of the brand kiss they make um natural mink lashes as well as synthetic ones but they're supposed to be like real hair natural so they look even like more natural like your natural lashes whatever they also make glue that has aloe in it which is really good for your eyes and that's why I got it and like swear by this shit because every time I do my lashes and I do my eyelash at home extensions with this because of the way I do my eyelash extensions it's really close to my eyeball so um you don't want like harsh fucking glue fumes going in your eyes this has aloe and literally is not harsh at all. I think I paid like $3.99 for this. You can literally get this at Walgreens, CVS, um, Target, probably Walmart. I don't know. You can definitely pick yourself up one of these. Try it out. Let me know in the comment section below how you like it. Cause I love this to apply my eyelashes and eyelash extensions. Um, next, I swear by this, I literally don't use a beauty blender anymore. I think I never really did, to be honest, but, um, this is the Morphe sponge. She is the best thing ever, like, 
so smushy, not hard, like the fucking beauty blender. And then this part is my favorite part. This little like edge part, you can get into the creases like so good. I don't use this to apply my foundation. Um, I use the Morphe Y6 brush, which I swear by and I've been using for years. It is like the best brush ever that applies an even and flawless application. As you can see, if you guys want a brush, let me know in the comments section down below. I would love to try out other brushes, but I have not found another brush that can beat the Y6. So challenge me down below if you guys think you have a better one. But um, this shit is life and it's literally like, I think $8 or $10. It is so cheap, whereas like the Beauty Blender is like $20. No, 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 homegirl, get you one of these, or five, or ten, or twenty, stock up on these, because this is life. And then when you, um, I was trying to see if I had water, but I don't, when you put it in water, it expands so much bigger than the Beauty Blender, and it's just soft. Like, I don't like how the Beauty Blender is, like, really, really hard, like, even when you do, like, I don't even think you could do this with the Beauty Blender, I think you could only do that, so, get you one of these. Next thing, which I know, which I'm pretty sure all of you guys know about, and if you don't, well then, hey, you're going to learn right now. Um, it's the Velour Liquid Scrub by Jeffree Star. Look how pretty that is, though. And then you open it. I'm going to show you guys. I wish you could smell this. Like, I really wish you could. Like, I wish there was a way for you guys to smell this shit, because, I mean, you can eat it but um, I'm not going to. Um, I swear by this scrub. I've been using this for a year and I actually need to pick up a new one because I know he came out with some new flavors like the Dreamsicle or Creamsicle or some bullshit, but definitely want to try the new one. This is one of the older ones. Um, I've been using this for a year now and I've used a couple of his scrubs and they are amazing. Like they literally do what they're supposed to. A lip scrub is supposed to take away all of the dead skin off of your fucking lips and like fill in the lines for you. Basically moisturize your lips. This does exactly what it's supposed to do. Versus like other ones that I have tried in the past and I don't really use a lot of lip scrubs because my lips don't really get that dry because I try and keep them moisturized as much as possible. Especially now in winter. Um, you guys should definitely moisturize your lips at night while you're sleeping, but, um, other ones don't do that. They'll either take away some of the dead skin and not all of it. I mean, this literally takes away everything. I swear by it. And this is something you guys definitely need to have or look into getting. Next, this is my shit. When this came out. I was so stoked. Like, I don't even know how to tell you guys. I was literally, like, off my shit. And this came out... Has this been out for a year now? Whatever. Whenever, however long it's been is how long I've had this shit. Not this exact bottle, but have used it. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And if you guys don't know or haven't heard, this shit is life. It is literally better than Max like who the fuck are you max six plus i don't even know you anymore like literally i don't even use that this is everything and it's literally half the price actually more than half the price because max six plus is 25 plus tax is like almost 30 dollars this is 15 and it holds way more product in it and it is it's a mist like it's a mist and it smells so bomb, like so good. I want to bathe in this shit. Um, so definitely need to get on this shit. This is life. I literally love it. Like I love this. I love this. I love this. Love it. Okay. Um, now I've only had this product for a month, and so. Obviously, it's been out for a really long time. Who cares? But, um, you know, I'm very picky with my foundations. Um, 
the way I'm mixed and my skin tone, I can only use certain foundations um, because only certain ones match my skin tone. So I didn't think that this brand was going to have my shade. Little do I know, they do. And the only reason why I found out about this brand is um, because I ran out of my NARS and bitch was kind of broke so I had to downgrade a little bit and get a cheaper foundation until I was able to get my NARS one but um so that stumbled me upon Huda Beauty and I got the shade Latte I'm gonna tell you guys right now this shit is life literally life life just life period um number one it smells so fucking bomb like i don't even like i've gotten so many compliments of like people being like oh my god you smell so good which i usually get compliments on smelling good anyway because of the perfumes that i use but i mean like they would compliment my face smelling good like that's how good it smells and when i say that shit blends out like so nice like so so nice out like so nice like so nice so nice it is insane it's like a flawless finish every application so i'm definitely a fan of huda beauty foundation i've used other products from them but never their foundation i am definitely a foundation fan of theirs for sure and i'm actually two different shades in that one so i want to try my other shade which is dulce de leche um which is more of like a darker one that i would wear in like um i think summer so this one is like my winter shade but i definitely want to try my summer shade for them so when summer comes around you guys will definitely see that um get on it try it out it's literally forty dollars super cheap and really good quality so i highly 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 recommend huda beauty foundation because it's bitch who doesn't want a flawless application and to smell good on your face okay that's what i thought period about two combinations that i swear to god by gives me the best nude lip color ever like nude lip color combination and that is morphe virgin and then huda beauty bombshell so these two right here gives you the perfect nude lip and i don't have it on right now i just have gloss and like lip liner on and that's it but these give you like the perfect like nude color on them if you can see right here this is the bombshell one by huda and then this is the morphe virgin and then you guys can see together they're just like oh it's just so pretty try it out for yourself comment down below send me your instagram handle so i can see um how it looks on you guys i freaking love it it looks so good on every skin tone like it would look good on me now but I just have lip gloss on, so it's cool. Um, speaking of lip gloss, and I'm not a lip gloss girl. Let me just say that right now. I'm not. Because I hate lip gloss because all the lip glosses out there are just sticky and nasty and they get in your hair. And they're just like, every time you eat, they get on stuff. It's just gross. It's just gross. So, I'm not a lip gloss bitch at all. But, um, at my old 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 job a couple years ago this girl got me on to this lip gloss and it just it just made her lips look so lumptuous and so like pretty and just moisturized that I was like what the fuck are you wearing and she showed me this and she said that this is what she wears and swears by and I've had it for now a year and a half and I swear by this shit you literally all you have to do put on lip liner and then put this in the center like I have literally leaves your lips so moisturized makes them look so plump it's not sticky at all and literally you can eat and it will still be there 
It is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. And I have framboise, but oh my god, it smells so bomb. And it is, and it is just like so pretty. Like, look at that. So you guys should definitely try these out. And they have a bunch of different ones. It's just, I really like this one because it kind of has a little bit of like a pinky red tint to it. So it also kind of like tints my lips a little bit so I don't really have to wear lipstick with it. So that's like another cool thing about it. Um, it smells so good though. That's two things that I think you guys should definitely have in your makeup brushes and your makeup are these two contouring um, tools that I literally swear by. Um, and that is the Morphe M6 Britney Bear collab. Thing snatches my nose like a motherfucker without effort, literally. It is the best thing ever. I don't know if you can buy it individually, but the pack was only like 15, so get on it if they're still available i don't know because this was a while ago when she launched this but i've literally used it ever since it came out and i don't use anything else to snatch my nose with nothing else this little snatch for my nose ever like ever it looks so perfect and flawless it's a joke and then the other the morphe y10 brush and it's just this like synth like that I kind of fluffy big brush literally you guys bitch bitch let me tell you I don't use anything else to snatch this fucking face okay like look at that cheek look at look at look at okay period all I gotta say pick you up one and you will know you will forever be snatched and chiseled to the gods I promise you really I think it's like an eight dollar fucking brush so um hello hello but um yeah so that concludes the first episode of beauty series by Brittany. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link all of the products and the prices down below. Also, don't forget to check out my social media handles. They will be linked in the description box down below. That way you guys can check on me to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!